Hello and welcome to Pastors Library. This is the channel where we discuss everything to do with theological books, books that might appear on your bookshelf as a minister, as a pastor, as a vicar, or books that might be on your reading list uh, for a bachelor's degree or a master's degree. And um, we just want to try and help inform you uh, in these short 10 minute videos about books that might interest you or might um, be great to buy. Uh, so if you like what we say, please give us a thumbs up and remember to click subscribe and click on the bell. And that way you'll be among the first to know when we issue another episode of Pastor's Library. So today I want to talk about um, NICOT, the new international commentary on the Old Testament. Now, this is a series that actually goes back a while. Um, I, um, I bought a, a second-hand edition of the book of Isaiah, which comes in three volumes by Young, Edward Young. And um, I found this actually to be a very helpful commentary, um, but they have really improved and, um, if you like, uh, made their uh, point of existence to be more direct. I mean, this was a, a 1965 book originally, uh, but these days, uh, the book of Isaiah comes in two volumes. It's written by John Oswalt. And um, these books are, how shall we put it? They claim to bridge the gap between the, the needs of the pastor and the needs of the academic. And I suppose that's pretty fair. Although I would suggest to you some people might well look at this and just say it's academic. Uh, because the, these, these books have a lot of detail. Uh, they will, from time to time, refer to the original language. Although the standard layout is that there is a passage uh, that is the author's own translation. Uh, so it isn't, doesn't use a particular translation, uses the author's own. And then it goes into what the text has to say, and that will be quite in depth. So for example here, for the first half of Isaiah, or for first Isaiah as it's often referred to, we've got about 740 pages. So these are quite hefty volumes, they weigh a bit, um, they're, they're not to be ignored. Uh, but whereas I found Young's Isaiah to be excellent, um, Oswald was also very, very good, but very different. And I think as time goes on, this is a series that is being reinvented. Um, and whereas uh, there's almost the whole of the Old Testament uh, available now, uh, I think we've, we've got um, possibly one more volume to come. It is a, a, a collectible reference that I think anybody would look at and say, this is one of the most definitive commentary series on the market. Um, as you can imagine, books the size of this, the weight of this, they're not cheap. Um, it can cost you a lot to buy. If you are buying them as a digital version, uh, they are quite a lot cheaper, uh, but they still cost quite a lot. If you're adding them to a Logos library or another software systems library, then they do come a bit cheaper still. But seriously, as books, these are not inexpensive. Um, I'm, uh, I tend to be a person that likes still to feel my fingers on the paper. So, um, what, what outstanding volumes are there? Well, I, I have to say that the book of Job by John Hartley is considered to be a, a highly regarded volume. And I've worked through this one myself. It, it is an excellent volume. Um, what I always say when I'm talking about commentaries is I don't agree with everything these people say, uh, but it, that, that is the point, isn't it? As you read, you learn, you understand arguments from different directions. And um, I have to say to you, I think John Hartley, one of the most serious uh, commentators on Job in the world, uh, has offered as a really excellent volume. Um, and just to point out, 
the current series of um, Nikots all have this same slip cover and uh, a beige hardback underneath. Um, I suppose what we ought to remember is uh, the two volumes of Genesis uh, by Victor Hamilton. Now, again, Victor Hamilton has established himself as a key voice on the book of Genesis. And um, whereas I wouldn't say this is the best, I have to say it's up there, it's really very good. And, and I think what you can generally say about the Nikots is they will be up there on the list of everyone's favourite, um, whereas may, pe may, people may not regard them as number one, but they may well regard them as number two or three or four. And when you look at the sheer volume of commentaries out there, these are always in that top list. So very, very good. And I, I have to say that Hamilton helped me uh, when I did uh, my series on the first uh, 11 chapters of Genesis. And then again, when I went on and did a series on the rest of Genesis. Um, perhaps one that might be overlooked is the volume on the Psalms. Now, a lot of commentaries will give you two or three volumes on the Psalms. So this is clearly not quite as involved as some others. But um, I have to say, I found this to be a helpful book. And at about a thousand pages, uh, it's not to be laughed at. Uh, the book of Psalms uh, has three authors. It's Walford, Jacobson and Tanner. And it's, it's a worthwhile investment. So what am I saying to you about the NICOT, the New International Commentary on the Old Testament? What I'm saying is all series of commentaries um, have got books which you really prefer and books which you hate. And you will come across this in NICOT, but it doesn't mean that they aren't worth collecting. I mean, for example, the book of Zechariah, Yes, that book right at the old end of the Old Testament. It's a very small book, really. That book has developed this commentary, which is something like 900 pages for the book of Zechariah. Now, you can't deny someone has really worked hard to produce this. And um, Mark Boder is, again, considered to be a very good uh, commentator, and he, his co commitment to producing that has been epic. So you don't have to collect these, is what I'm saying. Buy ones that are relevant to you at the time. If, you're, if you've got to produce a sermon series on Genesis, well, consider buying Hamilton. It's very, very good. Um, and you, over a lifetime, you may end up collecting these, uh, but... Um, it isn't essential that you have them all. I think it is useful to have a set of maybe one series over a period of time so you have a friendly uh, format that you're used to, that you can engage with. And really, it's about, did that work for you? And so as the NICOTs go, my suggestion would be buy one, um, one that you can either reference in an essay or uh, one that you can produce a sermon series with the aid of it. Buy one, see how you go. But ultimately, these are a really high quality product uh, that is published by Erdman's and uh, is, is regarded very highly by most people. So hope that helps you. If, you. if that has helped you, give us a thumbs up. Uh, remember to subscribe and ding on the bell so that you'll know next time we publish a pastor's library. God bless you. Bye.